Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my get ready with me. I'm currently getting ready to leave for New Year's Eve and I'm so excited. So yeah, I just did this makeup look. I really like it. I love the glitter. This is one of the new Makeup Geek sparklers and I'm obsessed with it. I think it is gorgeous. But yeah, I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. You're probably going to see this on New Year's Day. I really hope you guys are excited for the new year. I know I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support in 2015 and I will see you guys in 2016. I'm probably actually seeing you now, but I'm so excited. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what I'm wearing, go check out my Instagram. I'll link it right here, actually. And you can see what I'm wearing. Let's just get started with the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take creme brulee from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to put this into my crease. And I'm actually using the brush I purchased in my last drugstore haul, and I'm obsessed with it. I really love it. So if you're looking for a new one, go check it out. And now I'm using Barcelona Beach. All of these are from Makeup Geek. If you're interested, this is not sponsored by them. I just wanted to play with some more shadows. But I'm going to put this in the outer half and bring it onto my lid as well. But I'm not going to take it all the way to the inner corner. I'm going to focus on keeping this more on the outer half into the center of the lid. Then I'm going to take Americano, which is a beautiful shade, and I'm going to also put this in the outer V and a little bit into the center of the lid as well, just to deepen this look up a little bit. So now I'm taking this NYX Avant Pop palette. I love these palettes. I think they're amazing and have great pigmentation. And I'm going to take the black and just put this in the very outer V. And I'm going to take the same brush that I had just used. And I'm going to use Barcelona Beach to blend this out. And you can see these NYX shadows are like so incredibly pigmented. And they blend really, really well. So if you're looking for new drugstore eyeshadows, I highly recommend them because they're just so awesome. To take this sparkler in the shade satellite and this is so pretty but at first I'm going to take the Too Faced glitter glue and this brush from MAC and I'm going to put this on the place where I want to put the glitter like exactly where I want the glitter is where I'm putting this glue so then I'm going to dip my brush into the sparkler and I'm going to go ahead and put that sparkler on my lid this is just a glitter with a pigment in it as well I believe it's like really really fine it's a great great product the only thing I do not like about these is the packaging because they are super messy I get this stuff everywhere every time I open it up I mean it's just everywhere so be full warned they are really messy but the colors are really beautiful and very very unique so I love this one this is probably my favorite and I loved the way that this turned out but now I'm going to go ahead and take off the tape and then I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. I'm just using the Makeup Forever graphic liner and this ended up going over the pigment really, really well. Or the glitter. It went over the glitter really, really well and was nice and black. Then I'm going to take my Velour Fluff and Wispies. These are my favorite lashes at the moment. And then I'm taking my primers and priming my face and then using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and putting this on. I think my neon robe <laughs> um, kind of altered the color of my neck, but this foundation matched my neck really well. I think just the neon hot pink against my skin and then my face, just it was just not working. But it did look really good, I promise. <laughs> and then I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I just love this concealer, and I, I know it's a good one, and I know it'll last all night. So I wanted to use this one as my under eye concealer for the night, and I'm just using my same foundation brush to blend all of that out. And you can see I love that yellow shade. And this is another drugstore brush that I purchased that I really love for underneath the eyes. And I'm going to take that powder and set all the places that I had just put concealer. Then I'm taking my Smashbox Suntan Matte Powder. This is a great, great bronzer. I have no idea where the lid is, but it's a great bronzer. And I'm also using a NARS Kabuki brush. I do like this one. I feel like it's a little too dense for my liking, but I end up really loving it because it blends everything out very easily. Then I'm going with my new favorite thing. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour in Medium. And I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush. And I've been doing this for a while now. And I'm obsessed with this combo. 
The powder is so good. I don't really like the highlight in it, but the contour powder is beautiful. It's a nice ashy tone. It just looks so stunning. And then this brush is perfect to contour with because it is dense enough, but not too dense. So you blend all of the product out, get it right where you want it, and I highly recommend this duo. Definitely check it out. It's amazing. And I also love this powder to contour my nose. I mean, it's literally perfection. You guys have got to go check this out. Then I'm taking my Becca Blush in Damselfly, and I'm going to put this on my cheeks. I haven't used my Becca Blushes in a while, so I've been popping them out a little bit here and there, and I just love them. They're so nice and so just pretty and smooth on the skin. I love them. And then I'm going to take my Benefit What's Up highlighter and put this on the tops of my cheekbone, my nose, and my cupid's bow. And then taking my new favorite brow product. This is the Ardell Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. I've been loving this as well. I've been trying out so many different um, products from the drugstore that are new. And I, I mean, this one's just really great. Definitely check out the Brow Pomade if you love the Anastasia Dip Brow. I think it's a great dupe. And then I went ahead and highlighted, and I'm using this pencil from Ciate, and it is a great black pencil for your waterline. I absolutely love it. And then I'm taking Americano again, and I'm going to put this right there underneath the lower lash line, and I'm just going to deepen it up. And then we're going to take Creme Brulee and blend this out so it's nice and smoky. And then after that, I'm going to take that highlight again, and I'm going to put this in the inner corner. This kind of also, this highlight also has like a green tint to it as well. It's really cool, very unique. Then I'm going to put some mascara on, and of course, I got mascara on my nose, so I had to let that dry for a little bit, but I was like, of course. I'm almost done, and I get mascara on my nose. Perfection. Then I'm going to take this Smashbox lip liner and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I'm not sure of the color off the top of my head, but I will leave it down below. And then I've been loving this L'Oreal lip product. This is the Pro Matte Gloss, and these are amazing, you guys. This is in the color 316. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. But these are so perfect. I can't even describe to you how perfect they are. I mean, the formula, the colors, everything, you need them in your life. And then I'm taking this Lorac Gloss and I'm going to top it off with that. And then that will complete our makeup look. I'm just going to go ahead and touch up my liner um, and touch up my wing just so it's nice and black and crisp and sharp. Just how we like our wing liners to be. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to hair and get this grease ball put together because my hair is just a hot mess. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and let it down, and I had to use my Batiste dry shampoo, like just the regular kind, because I'm all out of my dark tone. And it looks pretty scary at first if you have dark hair. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, I have gray hair now. But as long as you really rub it in and brush it out, you will be fine. I don't have any issues with this. I mean, sometimes I don't brush it out as well, but usually I'm putting my hair back up if I do that. So yeah, just make sure you rub it in really well and brush it out, and you will be good to go if you're in a pinch. But I do like the dark toned one for if you have darker hair. And then I'm going to take bigger sections, and I'm using this Hot Tools 1.5 inch curling iron. I have been doing my hair like this for the past, like, three months or so. I'm just in love with it. I love the big, loose, voluminous curls, and they're just so easy to maintain. So I do curls away from my face and towards my face just to give some added volume. And then I will set it all with hairspray and that will be it for this whole look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I really hope you guys had a great new year and thank you so much for all of the support in 2015. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.